I'm responding to the video, uh, Bible Homosexuality Part 1. I thought it was an interesting video as a correction to many fundamentalists who um, don't understand that the Bible needs to be taken in context and that that context isn't just uh, what's in the Bible and the Bible context, but also doing research on the times that the Bible was uh, take, took place, or the stories took place, and understanding the culture and the times and that sort of thing. And I, I think that's good. And I want to commend you for making this video, especially since you're, you're understanding that some people might think you're gay because of that. And I think that that's very courageous. But seeing a lot of videos like this on YouTube compels me to respond that there's another issue that Christians, I think, need to take into consideration. We need to understand that it isn't just the context of the Bible. It's th There's another problem, and that's the problem of perceiving of the Bible as history rather than lore or legend. There isn't really a lot of evidence that the Bible is accurate history, or even that the Bible was ever meant to be accurate history. Um, most of the evidence we have looking at Bible text, looking at the way the Bible was written, who wrote it, when it was written, looking at the earliest uh, copies we have, well, the earliest copies all contradict each other. There's lots of evidence that the Bible's been altered multiple times. There's also evidence in the Bible through the stories themselves that are filled with fantastical things that couldn't possibly be true that there's as much myth in the Bible as there is history, and that many of the stories in the Bible, whether they're historically correct or not, they seem to be moral tales, and um, and uh, they, they seem to be parables to teach us about, about things. Being a Christian doesn't mean you have to take the Bible lock, stock, and barrel as some kind of literal historical statement about what happened in the past. There's no reason to believe that it is, taking into consideration how long ago it was written, and taking into consideration the fact that most things that were written at that time, that we still have copies of today, we just assume are distorted. Uh, we just assume are inaccurate in some ways. I think it's more important to look at the Bible as a work that was created over time by a large number of people and revised over time and that it is a compendium of moral and uh, ethical questions that are taught in parable and in story form. And that it's a starting place for discussion. It isn't an ending place to somehow state this is how things are. I think that uh, it's important to understand that, that even, even an atheist or an agnostic can read the Bible and read it the way he would read any piece of literature and could get something from it and could get some kind of moral guidance. Uh, or at least they would be intrigued to think more deeply about moral issues. Um, it's amazing to me that there's so much stuff on YouTube of people going on and on and on about what the Bible really means as if the Bible were true, as if the Bible were somehow supposed to be, or needed to be, or could only be valid if it were an absolutely truthful retelling of history. Um, I'd like some responses from people, uh, just what other people think. Um, I'm not a Christian, I am an atheist, um, but I think that uh, Jesus is one of the most important philosophers we've ever had in the West. And it is amazing to me how much his philosophy has been distorted by Christians. And, and it seems to me very odd that the countries on the planet that are the most agnostic and atheist seem to be the ones that follow Christ's message the closest. And some of the most unchristian people that I know are fundamentalist Christians. Um, they don't seem to have much charity and much forgiveness in their hearts. Just a thought. This is Skeptic Sage. I always remind people at the end of my videos that uh, extraordinary evidence is required uh, for extraordinary claims, like the Bible. And uh, I wish everybody peace.